guys, it's Carl Brown, guitarlessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. Now this one is in a whacked out tuning. Um, it's kind of, uh, whenever they're doing acoustic, I think, uh, um, Goo Goo Dolls, they, they kind of throw it in this tuning. So this particular one, I'll, I'll go through it. We basically have one string is tuned to B, and the other ones are all tuned to D. So it's pretty strange. So we have uh, the low E string is the one that is tuned down to B. And right now my guitar is not liking this tuning at all. So it might sound, the intonation might be a little bit off when you hear me kind of playing some of this. Um, it is just, it's used to standard. It's not used to this crazy stuff. All right, um, now the fifth string, you're also gonna tune that one down to D. So you tune the low E string down to B, the fifth string down to D. So that A goes all the way down to D. All right, then you have the D string gets to stay the same, yay. And then we have the G string, which goes all the way down to D as well. Um, and then we have the B string, which we actually tune up to D. All right, so that's the only one we tuned up. And then the high E string is tuned down to D as well. So we have a low B and five Ds. All right, and it sounds, all those Ds together that low B there. All right, so let's take a look at this intro riff, which is a kind of a, a lot like the chorus riff. We're gonna have your first finger here at the ninth fret on the A string and your pinky at the 12th fret on the D string. And you can pretty much strum all the strings. And then just drop that 12th fret on the D back to 11. Then you go back to the 12. All right, then shift back here. Now you're gonna mute the sixth string. Don't let that ring. And you're gonna have your fifth fret on the A string and then fifth fret on the D string. Oh, well, there used to be, uh, it used to be an A string at least. So, strum those with the top strings open. And then down to the fourth fret on that D, on the fourth string. And then we're going to do a quick little melody, 5, 4, 0 on that D string. So I just did that in the middle, I'll strum the other strings with it. Alright, so that's very similar to the chorus, so that's just the intro, they had to go through that twice. Uh, and then we get to the uh, verse, which is um, you're going to basically play, start with the third fret here. You're going to play the third fret by itself on the low sixth string. A little bit of light strumming on top. Then up to the fifth fret. Then the eighth. We have. Then the sixth string open. Then the tenth fret, then the eighth. Then do that again. All right. So that's the verse. That's when the vocals come in, and then we go back to the chorus, which is very similar to riff, it's just a little bit more simplified. He just does the. go back to the 12 there and then you just grab those two notes down here as well just strum those without any kind of melody with it you don't do that one so yeah. now if you're playing this as like a solo just on on your own without a band the band plays uh, to a uh, root note there so the chord changes there sounds right because he's playing over the band. If you want to recreate that sound, you can kind of do this. Just add this to it. You add this, and when you go down to the 11, put your second finger here at the 10th fret on the 6th string. So we have, so you get that, that hole. You get that hole. Boom, bam, bam. So 
So it just kind of sounds more like the full band if you want to put that in there. But if you want to do it like him, don't do it. All right. So then we're uh, back basically to the intro riff twice through after that first chorus. Or he goes back to the 12. All right. Then back to the same verse. do that twice so we covered that before back to the chorus now after the chorus we have kind of an interlude thing here which he does a couple times and that sounds like this this is after the second chorus So that's just, we're still doing the same process that we did in the, the same rhythm we did in, in the uh, verse with the strumming and the, just a low um, bass line going. So that bass line is zero, two, three. You kind of hold on that three twice as long. Then we're back to the open string. Ten, eight. So it's similar to the, uh, the verse, but not quite, especially the VA. Now we have the uh, guitar solo section with our electric guitar going here, but we're not going to be learning that. We're just going to be taking care of what's going on in the acoustic, which is there's a lot more going on there too. So I'll play that real quick. Basically that section is similar to the chorus where we have this the first chord there with the 9 and 12 and then down to the 9 11. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, then one time hit on the 11, the 9 11, then the 9 12 chord. And then we're down to that same. Or we do that melody in it like we did in the intro. Alright, so you do that four times basically. At the end of the fourth one, you're gonna jump to this. So that's just your second finger here at the eighth fret on the sixth string. That nice out of tune eighth fret. And then we're gonna have. And you're gonna choose a little little melody on top, which is just seven, nine. Back to seven on the high E strings, uh, or the just the first string at this point. It's really a D string. So we have. So then we're just going to move it down to the seventh fret on the sixth string, and then do the same seven nine melody. So we just kind of kind of doing some strums in between those melody notes. After that one, you move it up. Just move it up to the 12th fret here. Strum all the strings. Then repeat. And then he does this little line going down. That's just 12, 10, 8, 7, 5. Alright, and then he'll jump back into the. They just do that all again. That little descending line. Alright, so after.
after that guitar solo, uh, we're back to that little interlude we did. It's really kind of quiet. And then back to the chorus. Alright, so they do that quite a bit and then they end it with the interlude again. Just real quiet. So you'll be playing that kind of repetitively as it fades out. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed it. It is a strange tuning, so you're going to have to kind of sacrifice a guitar for a day or so uh, to get it into tune, your, your acoustic. Uh, hopefully you'll have better luck and it'll, it'll stay better with yours. but. It's just that low B and all those Ds. Some guitars are gonna maybe it, depending on your string gauge and just how the guitar is set up, it, it might like it. Or, or sometimes the intonation will be a little bit off. Um, I'm I'm sure they use specific guitars for those tunings that are set up for it. But um, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a pretty nice one. All right, and it's uh, definitely a unique sounding one. All right, I'll be back soon with another song for GuitarLessons365.com. Bye bye.